Good evening. She was a bright sight on a grey day. Thousands of people turned out to welcome the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh as they visited Birmingham. Security was stepped up in the wake of the terrorist attacks in Paris, but police say there were no reported issues throughout the day. Her Majesty arrived by train to carry out the official opening of New Street Station before going on to other engagements in the city. Elizabeth Glinker reports. Appropriately, the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh arrived at Birmingham New Street by train. Her Majesty spoke to dozens of the staff and apprentices who helped to build the new station. Everyone really appreciated this. They've worked so hard for years. They've transformed Birmingham New Street. They've created this wonderful space. And today, to be able to celebrate it with the Queen was wonderful. Despite heightened security, the station was open to the public and hundreds looked on as Queen Elizabeth unveiled the official plaque. It was like surreal, it was amazing, it really was, the crowds were amazing, we came and everyone was just so friendly. She was wearing a pink dress and was, uh, we were, were quite overwhelmed that she arrived in Grand Central today, we were all, all very excited. Well, she always looks immaculate, but she's the queen. <laughs> 11-year-old Neve was one of those who got to meet her. It was a great honour, it was, it was amazing and she was ever so nice. Are you going to tell all your friends about it now? Yeah. Outside, the royal party laid a wreath and rededicated a memorial for the railway workers killed during the Great War. On the move again, the next stop was the Midland Metro, where Her Majesty inspected one of the new fleet of zero-emission trams, which will run on the lines currently under construction. And then off to Edgebaston, where the Queen and Prince Philip were given a tour of the brand new Birmingham School of Dentistry, due to open in 2016. And what do you think it means to have her here? I think it means an awful lot, especially especially with everything that's going on at the moment, and to still for her to still want to come and, and to walk around, say, the place that we're going to be working. I think it's absolutely phenomenal. It's brought such a buzz to everybody that, that works here. Well, after a very busy day in Birmingham, the Queen is now leaving the new School of Dentistry here and heading back to New Street Station, where the day began to get her train home. Elizabeth Glinker for BBC Midlands Today in Edgebaston. Well, one of those chosen to meet Her Majesty is with Elizabeth Glinker now. So, uh, Elizabeth, a memorable day for some. A very memorable day and that's one of the things that strikes you Mary when you're talking to people who've met the Queen everybody is just alight with it they're so excited to have met her one of those people is 10 year old Verity who joins me now we can see some of the lovely pictures of you Verity here with the Queen what did you get to do today so um, I got to meet the Queen and I gave a posy to the Queen um, today and it was really exciting I got to speak to her. And, and what did she say to you? She um, said that um, she um, knew it was my birthday yesterday. Ah, yeah, because it was your birthday. So this is a pretty special birthday. Is this <laughs> the m biggest thing that's ever happened to you on your birthday? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Now, I know that you had to keep this a secret from a lot of people. So what do you think is going to happen when you go back to school tomorrow? I think everyone would be really jealous, but kind of like proud of me for doing it um, yeah. and uh, I know that you got to do this because you were actually treated at the dental hospital weren't you yes I was and I was I was really excited to do this and I was very happy that I got chosen Oh, well, it, I tell you what, absolutely happy 10th birthday. What a fantastic way to spend your birthday. So there you go, a, a lovely day for Verity and also a fantastic day for all the people who got to spend time with the Queen in Birmingham today. Indeed, Elizabeth, thanks very much. And you can find more pictures of the Queen's visit on our Facebook page. Two men have died and another is being treated in...